Shalom and welcome to the Satellite Bible Atlas, video number three, Major Routes in the Land of the Bible. In our last video, we learned about the four major geographical zones of the land of the Bible, the Coastal Plain, the Hill Country, the Rift Valley, and the Transjordan Plateau. Now we will see how each of these regions has a major route that runs through it. Knowing the major routes of the land is important because towns and cities are often located along the routes. The Bible records hundreds of events that happen to people at real locations along these routes. Using map 116 we will mark out four major routes. First is the coastal highway, sometimes called the way of the sea, which more or less runs unimpeded along the relatively flat coastal plain. The coastal highway is a major section on the international route that joins Egypt to Mesopotamia. However, note Mount Carmel, which is a barrier to travel. Later we will see how the route traverses Mount Carmel through a pass to the Jezreel Valley, then to the Sea of Galilee and further north. The second route travels north-south on the watershed of the hill country. This route is called the Road of the Patriarchs because Abraham, Jacob, and Joseph frequently traveled on it. The third route is the Rift Valley. The flat plain provides convenient travel between the Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee and further beyond to the north. The fourth route runs north-south along the Transjordan Plateau. The route is called the King's Highway. Further to the north, the Bible calls the route the way to Bashan. The route continues beyond Bashan to Damascus. Let's see these same routes on map 1-2, where they appear finely highlighted in yellow already. Here is the International Coastal Highway, smooth sailing until Mount Carmel. Then the route uses a valley pass that runs through Mount Carmel and into the Jezreel Valley. Note the city of Megiddo, which functions as a sentinel guarding the pass through Mount Carmel. Megiddo, a city mentioned in both the Old and New Testaments, draws its historical significance from the layout of the regions and the routes. From the Jezreel Valley, the route continues down toward the Sea of Galilee and further north off the map. This route, in all of its sections, is known as the Great International Route that connects Egypt and Mesopotamia. The Road of the Patriarchs does not appear in yellow on Map 1-2, since it is more of a local route. However, you can trace it. Remember, it follows the watershed in the hill country. From Beersheba in the south, follow it past the cities of Hebron, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, Bethel, Shiloh, and Shechem. Then it descends into the Jezreel Valley, where it joins the international route. The Rift Valley route connects the Dead Sea to the Sea of Galilee. We've marked it out on the east side of the Rift Valley along the foot of Gilead. Finally, the King's Highway comes through Moab, along the Plateau, past Rabat Amon and Gilead, north through Bashan, and off the map toward Damascus. Using map 115, let's take a closer look at why the Jezreel Valley is a hub for routes. Note that this map is east-oriented, north is to the left. The Jezreel Valley is a wide, flat, triangular, or arrowhead-shaped plain that breaks the hill country. It is a hub of routes since it is the easiest place to cross east-west through the land of the Bible. We've already seen how the Great International Route comes along the coastal plain and then utilizes the Jezreel Valley, avoiding the high hill country as it makes its way northeast. Note likewise how traffic crossing east-west, joining both the Rift Valley Route and the King's Highway with the Mediterranean Sea, also avoids high hill country by passing through the Jezreel Valley. As the most convenient east-west crossing in the land of the Bible, the Jezreel Valley is an intersection of international routes. There are many biblical events that occurred in the Jezreel Valley because it is the number one way to cross east-west through the country. Here is the wide Jezreel Valley, looking from Mount Carmel as far as Gilead in Transjordan, and the ruins of ancient Megiddo overlooking the Jezreel Valley. Across the valley are the Nazareth Ridge, Mount Tabor, and the Hill of Moreh. As in biblical times, the modern highway comes through the Megiddo Pass into the Jezreel Valley. There are other east-west passages through the hill country, but none are as convenient as the Jezreel Valley. Note on this cross-section sketch how difficult it is to travel from the Mediterranean Sea 
to Transjordan through the hill country near Jerusalem. Leaving the coastal plain, one ascends nearly 3,000 feet to the hill country watershed and then descends over 4,000 feet into the Rift Valley. The ascent to Transjordan is another 4,000 foot climb. In comparison, traveling west to east via the Jezreel Valley involves a relatively flat journey and ascent of a little over 200 feet. Hey, I'm standing here on a ridge I'm in the city of Nazareth and behind me is the Jezreel Valley. To my right you can see Mount Tabor where Deborah and Barak gather 10,000 Israelites to go to battle against the Canaanites. And then to my left you can see Mount Moray um, where on the slope is the city of Nain. And just after Jesus announced that he had the authority to raise the dead, he raised a widow's son from the dead in that city.